Hey guys, here's a fun way to find out where two lines intersect each other. Now, as long as there are two lines with different slopes, then the two lines will always meet somewhere at one point. We can find that point using something called elimination. Let me show you how this works. The key here is to have the same coefficient and that by coefficient I mean the number that's in front of the letter. The coefficient on x is 2, that's negative 3, that's negative 4, that's negative 1. You want the same coefficient on one of the letters, or variables as they're called, in both equations. Which one do we want to do here? Well, we could make the coefficient in front of each x 6, multiply this by 3, you get 6, multiply that by 2, you get 6. But instead, I just noticed this is 4 and this is 1. How do I convert that into 4? And the answer is by multiplying all of it by 4. Here's what I mean. I'm just going to rewrite that first equation for you. 2x minus 4 y equals 10. If I multiply everything here by 4, I get negative 12x, negative 4y, and negative 4. Here's the deal. Now that you have the same coefficient in front of each letter, you can subtract one equation from the other. Now I know this is a little odd and it's not the best notation in the world but this method works so just bear with me. Keep your axes together. 2 minus negative 12 gives me 14. Negative 4 minus negative 4 gives me 0. That's the point of elimination. I now have zero y's to deal with. I eliminated y by giving them the same coefficient and then subtracting one from the other. And here I have 10 minus negative 4. That's 14. So now I'm just dealing with a little 14x is 14. That's easy to solve. Just divide both sides by what's in front of x. See, it cancels out. x turns out to be 1. The reason we were able to solve for x here is because we got the same coefficient and then subtracted. And because something minus the same something is always 0, you're eliminating that variable. Could have eliminated x here, but it was a little too much work for me. Don't forget, you need to solve for a y as well. So what you've got to do is plug this number back into either one of these equations. I don't care which one you pick. You want to pick 2x minus 4y equals 10? Sure. But don't forget x is 1. So that's 2 1's minus 4y equals 10. Alright, get solving here. 2 minus 4y equals 10. See, that's 2 times 1. I'm going to move my 2 to the other side. 10 minus 2, which ends up being 8. And then to solve for y, divide both sides by negative 4. You can pause the video to break down each of these steps if I'm going too fast for you. y is 8 divided by negative 4, negative 2. So the coordinate where these two lines intersect is 1 comma negative 2. See? x comma y. But the deal is you've got to make the coefficients the same so that when you subtract the two you eliminate one of the variables. Solve for the variable that's left, plug it back into one of the originals, solve for the other, state your coordinates. Now I would like to point out that this answer we got by elimination is exactly the same as the result we got earlier by substitution. Calca partia. Best of luck in your own intersection endeavors.